Hello, Randy Rain here, and it seems like I've become some sort of historian or something documenting these little robots, not only what's on the outside and what they do, but what's on the inside and how they work, especially when it comes to these Tomy robots. Well, I have another one. It's the Flipbot. This is Randy's Robot Refurbished. So let's have a look at this flip bot. The last time I messed with it, it did work. Let's see, the battery door opens like this. Battery goes this way. And the switch is built into the battery door. Seems to be working. He's turning. And we Well, it seems to be working just fine. Let's open up and have a look inside here. Four screws on the back. Uh, let's see, the back pops off. This head comes off. And then the front comes off. Okay, so we have these little pieces here. Pretty, pretty basic here. Let's see. Screw there. Take the door off. Looks like there's a screw down there. Let's open it up some more. The wheels come off like that. So there it is. Let's see. Looks like a typical tin tooth gear here. Doesn't seem to be any split on there. So if it's not working, that would probably be the culprit here. So that gear is going to turn the gear below that. Oh, and that pops out, obviously. Okay. That'll probably allow you to take the motor out. Which it does. This is the gear that turns the arms. Let's look down here, take this thing out. Set it down. Let's remove the arms. Let's see if I can get this gear out. No splitting of these gears. So that gear on the motor turns this gear. It's down there. Let's see, we have some hair, some 1980s hair on here. That's pretty disgusting. And then that's going to fit there, like that. Then you add this gear here, which is set like that. The motor was in there. So basically as the motor spins, it turns that gear. That gear turns that worm drive, which turns this gear which turns these. This one connects to here. This thing moves up and down somewhere. What's causing that to move up and down? Uh, I see. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's put this back together. The, see, the tires even look really good. They just have gears on them. So as this thing sits in there, like that. Let's see, the motor is going to turn these. And then this up here, which I have to put the arms back on, have this gear. This gear is going to turn this gear right here, which you can see is 
they are spring loaded so that you can move them without breaking it. It gets locked into there. That's pretty neat. And then you have on this side this little piece right here. Get a closer look here. You can see that there's this little wedge that kind of sticks out. So if I put this back, let me take this back off. This piece was in there like this. Put some sort of friction on here for some reason. There you go. The arms went in like this. Ah. So this metal piece is putting friction onto this shaft, which is pushing it up against this gear. So you have this metal shaft here that's pushing up against this gear, and that gear is pushing up on there. That goes into place. These wheels just set in like this. Pop this back into place. Like that. So I'll go ahead and put these screws back. So let's have a let's put a battery in this thing. Put the door on temporarily. There it is. You can see, you can see as that little yellow piece comes around right there. That yellow piece. Okay, try this again. That goes like that. You can see that yellow piece pushes down and makes this little plastic piece come up right there. It comes up, back down. So every time that comes around, pushes that black piece up there. And that's what makes it turn. Pretty simple there. These pieces look like they can pop off. And a black piece in here it was just in there like that. So I guess to get it back together, probably should put that wheel down inside there. And then bring this into play like that. And the head just fits into place. The door for the battery just fits in like that. And of course, the back goes back on and the screws can go back in. The head also does this so you can put something in his mouth there. I think it came with a piece of paper or something. I don't really remember. But it is spring loaded for some reason. Well, I guess that's why these all work when you find them online. That's because there's not a whole lot to them. Pretty clever built though. The Flipbot originally came out at the same time the Dingbot and the Spotbot came out because I had all three of those as a child. And on the bottom here you see the copyright with the Tomy logo. You can also see that it says Japan on there. But then this one, it is Tomy because you can see the Tomy on the back. On the back here, 1984. 2000 Tomy made in China. So let's see if there's anything different. They didn't put security screws in here. That's odd. Why did they do that to the Dingbot and not this one? Let's see if anything else is different in here. I'm guessing not. So far it's the same. Ah, there is a little bit of a difference in here. Not a lot. This spring clip is different. The spring clip comes underneath the motor. The spring clip is mounted right here with these little rivets here instead of just being pushed in from the top. That's different. Looks like these this gear right here was smaller on the other one. 
There's the same tin tooth gear. I don't see any splits on there. But the same thing, pretty much. Just some minor differences. The arms seem to be the same. Here's that same gear. A little rusted in that one. Same little piece here. Give this one a shot, see what happens. Battery goes like that, put the door on. It's quieter. Piece still comes up, just like that. Well, that one seems to work as well. Might as well put it back together. Same little wheel here, same little piece down there. Just the colors are different with this clear translucent green. Put the wheel into place. Drop that in. The head can go back on. Battery door fits into that slot. And then the back goes back on. So let's have a look at this robot and see how it functions. The door is part of the switch, so when you turn it to here, you're just making the final connection, which also locks the door as well. This is just that idle wheel that's here. Both of these are spinning, making it go forward. This black piece keeps coming down and up as the arms spin. That's what makes it turn. So if I turn it on, so what's happening is, is it's pushing it up, taking this wheel off the ground. So this becomes a pivot point, and then this one spins it. So it's always going to turn the same direction every time. So as it comes up, it's now right pivoting on here, and this one is spinning it around. Then of course, it's basically the karate bot, the same type of thing where the arms will pick it up if it falls over. Well, there it is, the Tomy Flip Bot. I know, not too terribly exciting or anything, but I had to document it. It was one of the original little robots that Tomy put out. You had your Ding Bot, your Flip Bot, and your Spot Bot. All came out in 1984. So I guess in the year 2000, they re-released these robots, putting out a green and purple one here for the flip bot and this blue one, and they have some other ding bots as well. Pretty interesting. And uh, then 19 years later, here I am making a video about these things. So let's see them in action. That one already has a battery in it. Put the battery, turn that one on. There they go. You see, it always turns the same direction. And of course, if they get knocked over, they just right themselves. What happens over here? And, ooh. <laughs> Got it in sync now. Looks like this was a little bit faster. So there it is, the Tomy Flip Bot. Not much of a refurbish, but still, that was. Randy's Robot Refurbish! Fight, 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 fight! Ugh. 